The Conservative banker Guillermo Lasso says he is the rightful president of Ecuador, despite winning just under 49% of votes. No aceptamos. We do not accept, we do not recognize the election results released by the National Electoral Commission. It is trying to install an illegitimate government. He says he will present evidence of massive fraud and is urging his supporters to fight what he calls a democratic battle. His supporters outside the Electoral Commission headquarters in Quito say they won't go home until their claims are recognized. However, independent electoral observers say they've no evidence of fraud and there were few irregularities in the 480 voting stations they visited. I confirm there were no discrepancies between what we saw and the official results. He criticized polling companies for publishing results before voting was over, which led both candidates to declare themselves the winner before official results were published, generating uncertainty among the electorate. This is the headquarters of the Electoral Commission, for now heavily guarded. A large sector of society has faith in it, an equally large sector doesn't. They're now under pressure to prove their integrity, to convince the country that the electoral process is safe in their hands. The Electoral Commission is adamant it's independent of political interference and has been scrupulous in carrying out its work. We respect their decision, their right to keep presenting these complaints, but we at the Electoral Commission have acted with total transparency. The apparent winner, the left-wing former vice president, Lenin Moreno, said he respects the official results and was preparing to govern for all the people of Ecuador. The emphasis now should be on the search for consensus to make our institutions more representative because Ecuador has several crises simultaneously. Uncertainties need to be resolved and you don't do that by exacerbating conflicts and differences. Guillermo Lasso has called for a recount. Until the vote is clarified, Ecuador's political institutions, its democracy, will be under greater pressure than they have been for many years. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera. Quito.